name is Ethan Skrovenek, I am 16 years old. Abby Bradshaw, 17 years old. I'm Joshua McLeod and I'm 20 years old. Lana DeMello, age 17. I think the definition of grief is coming to terms with the loss of something. Loss and sorrow that you experience in a bad time or something extreme has caused you to feel this. Grief is when you lose a loved one and it's the loss, it's the empty space that needs to be filled. I guess grief is a kind of after emotion once you've lost someone. I guess you just feel really down and unhappy and just sad. I think the five stages of grief are firstly fear, then probably anger, then optimism, acceptance and then just sadness. Anger is probably one of them. Um, feeling hope, like hope, hopeless. Uh, I, I don't know. I think they're all going to be probably quite extreme emotions. I know anger is one of them. Acceptance is the last one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, scrubs. Help me. I don't really know. Maybe kind of, first you kind of deny it and then you go through a lot, like loads of different emotions like you might get really stressed out or you might try to like get busy and distract yourself and then um, I don't really know. You might gradually just in the end you have to accept it but I'm not sure how to put that into stages. Probably the passing of something or the loss of something. So like the passing of a family member or like the loss of something important to you. Death or loss of, some, loss of something generally and that the, probably the biggest one will be death. Change as well, so say if, I know this is probably going to sound strange but um, maybe if, you, if you're moving home from somewhere or like, uh, if you're going to university you're going to feel grief because you're moving away from everyone, all your friends and stuff. Someone who's a, a relative dies, or someone that you love dies, a pet dies, and uh, I think it's mostly death, really. I've experienced kind of almost side effects, but not. I'm not sure if I could really say grief itself. But um, my grand died um, just recently, and I guess. I kind of had to accept it, but I'm never really good with that type of thing, so I always end up laughing when really I'm unhappy. But I never, I only ever get upset when I'm like by myself or with someone that I'm really close to. Otherwise, I just kind of laugh it off. Um, I think grief helps people because, it, well, it kind of depends. Grief helps people in certain ways because it lets, lets the emotions out. Um, using the idea of like someone passing again, if you feel grief and you mourn over someone's lo of the death of somebody, it gets out the feelings of sadness and if you didn't let them out and you just kept them locked away, they build and build and build and eventually they just burst and you'd probably do damage to yourself or those around you. Like my mum was in an accident like last year and she fell off a bike and she was in hospital and I went to go see her and on life support. And that was, that was a major heartache and that was obviously going to be a lot of grief. Just remember you're not alone and there's people around you who can help. You're not going to have to deal with, the, with anything alone. If it's the passing of somebody, talk to a family member. If it's the loss of something you care about, try and fill the rest of the time that you have with other stuff with happiness and don't just focus on all the negatives.